When you think of Scooby-Doo, you think of a bunch of kids and a dog solving mysteries for the entertainment of children and families. You probably think of the original animated series from the 70s, or the 2002 What's New Scooby-Doo series, which I grew up with. Hell, I'm pretty sure you remember the direct-to-video video movies from the late 90s like Cyber Chase, Zombie Island, Alien Invaders, and the one that I'm going to be discussing today, which is Ghost. Just about everybody who watched this franchise remembers this film, and if they're like me, they still love it. However, since reaching adulthood and rewatching it, there's something that stuck out to me that I would like to discuss. Well into the beginning of the movie, there's a term that was used to describe Ben Ravencroft's ancestor, Sarah. Of course, she wasn't very popular with the town's doctors. Sarah was untraditional in her approach to medicine. She was a Wiccan. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? Say what? I've read about them. Wiccans were people who were in tune with the forces of nature and used them for healing purposes. Exactly. Wiccans have been misunderstood, accused of sorcery. In fact, the word witch comes from Wicca. If you know anything about Wicca or modern occultism, paganism, and witchcraft, you might see where I'm going with this. Later in the film, we meet the eternally iconic eco-goths, the Hex Girls. When they become familiar with the mystery gang after catching the fake witch's ghost, Luna states, We're eco-goths, kinda like Wiccans. Just ask Thorne, she is one. <laughs> yeah, right. Sally McKnight, 116th blood on my mother's side. Let's get some context. The definition of Wicca from Britannica is Wicca, a predominantly Western movement whose followers practice witchcraft and nature worship and see it as a religion based on pre-Christian traditions of Northern and Western Europe. Despite variation within the Wiccan community, most believers share a general set of belief and practices. They believe in the goddess, respect nature, and hold both polytheistic and pantheistic views. Throughout the whole film, there is an emphasis on Wiccans being the good practitioners and witches being evil magic users. Over and over, Wicca good, witch bad. Now, before all the people start complaining and saying, it's just a kid's movie, and it's all fictional, who cares? One... It's a family movie that has very real and very dark tones compared to the light-hearted series. And two, yes, it is fictional. But it is the impact that I'm trying to point out here because it is making us think one thing when the truth is, you know, a little different. It is both in misinformed and misleading. Since the movie is being misleading, I will give you some real facts. Wiccans versus Witches this is an ongoing comparison today, mostly because they are very closely intertwined and similar. However, Wiccans are not better than witches or any other practitioner for that matter just because they are healers or they're light work based. Not everyone follows the Wiccan read, harm none, do what ye will. While some witches follow something similar, that is based on morality and that also varies person to person. The second point I have has to do with witchcraft and bloodlines and how many witches see an importance of heritage and magical abilities. This is a debate I see a lot in practitioner circles because some witches think that they're better because they come from a long line of proud witches. While coming from a magic-based family is great, that does not mean that those born otherwise are any less of a witch. Like me, I come from a long line of Christians and Protestants, Yet, here I am, a witch doing witchy things. That doesn't make me any less of a magic user who came from 17 generations of this or that. So when Thorne says, I am 116th on my mother's side, it didn't quite sit right. Because that's not how witch heritage works. And heritage doesn't even really matter that much in that context. The third point is that it would just be incorrect to label Sarah Ravencroft as a Wiccan because the word Wiccan or Wicca did not exist in 1600s New England colonial society. If anything, she was just a regular witch, plain and simple. Alternatively, if she was a healer, she could be referred to as a folk healer or a cunning woman. However, as we find out later in the film, she was just straight up an evil witch. Which leads to the last point. Witches are not inherently evil. The very word witch has so much baggage, history, and dirt surrounding it. 
While modern users like me have reclaimed the word, many still see it as derogatory. This film kept pushing the narrative that witches are evil and nothing more. This is perpetuating the idea that modern witches are Satanists or just wayward souls who believe in silly make-believe. Overall, this is a really neat film. It just had some things wrong. But minus that, it's still enjoyable. As a witch, I just wanted to properly inform those who weren't aware of the impact of how they worded those things. I hope I was able to inform all of you today about this. Well, go watch a Scooby-Doo movie and catch up on some nostalgia. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Bright blessings! Catch you on the flip side!